Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your boy CT One Time, Chef CT One Time, and I'm back with another video. This time, be making some catfish. I've been doing this kind of Nigerian style. Uh, one of my co-workers, shout out to Augusta, uh, she made a dish similar and brought it to the potluck, so I figured I'd give it a shot. So here it is guys, a few simple ingredients. We'll get all this blended up together, loosen it up, cook some catfish in it, but you can choose any protein you like. Uh, you guys stay tuned, we got a good recipe here. Let's see how this turns out. See you in a second. All right, everybody, just a little kitchen hack. If you put a wet paper towel underneath your cutting board, if you look closely, you can see where the color changes. It helps keep it from sliding. So that's just a little tip there. So I got all this chopped up. We're going to put this in the blender. Get this blended up real good. I'll just chop it up a little bit so it don't clump up too much. We got tomato. In case you guys are wondering, we got tomato. We have white onion and we have a habanero pepper. Now that habanero pepper is hot, so be careful with that. If you wanna make your dish a little bit milder, what you can do is add some, or take the seeds out, and that will keep some of the heat out. Now we're gonna spoon some of this garlic in here. Some of you guys might be a little creeped out, like, oh, hey, you used the garlic out the jar, well, you want fresh garlic, then chop up fresh garlic, but I'm just gonna go ahead and take the easy way out this time. And we're gonna put a lot, because I actually really like garlic. I put garlic in almost everything I cook. All right, so we're going to get this blended up, and then we'll add a little oil to it, help loosen it up. All right, let's see. It'll mince up really fine, and then we'll add the oil and we'll have it kind of paste up a little bit more. That makes sense. And we'll just add a little bit of this. Give it all, not too much. Let's just do that for now. Alright, let's, let's give it a look. Let's just check it out. Not the finished product, we're just checking it out. And it looks about right. So, we'll just kind of push this down on the sides to make sure all that gets in there. Doesn't really smell like anything just yet. We'll probably throw a little bit of seasoning in there, some salt and pepper. Uh, I don't have any traditional African spices, but we'll make it work from here. But you can kind of see how that's pasting up a little bit. So we'll blend this just a little bit more, and then we'll get into the frying pan. Talk to you guys in a little bit. All right, everybody, shame on me. I started seasoning it a little bit without y'all. So just a heads up for what I put in there so far. A little bit of salt, a little bit of black pepper. I threw in a little bit of chili powder, all right? But we still have a lot left to put in there. So we will put in some crushed red pepper flakes. Check that out. That'll help give it some heat. This kind of has a hard time coming out. I'm about to have to take the top off. Ah, come on now. Come on, red pepper. We're gonna make it hot now. That's good enough for now. Uh, we will put some ground cumin in there. In a decent amount. Cumin is strong, so not too much, but just enough. How much is enough? I don't know, you tell me. A little bit of onion powder. Yes, we did put onion in it already, but we're gonna add some onion powder to it. Yes, we did put garlic powder in it already. We're gonna put garlic powder as well. And the thing is, we gotta season this good because we gotta make it taste a little bit over seasoned because then we're gonna add some water to it just to kind of loosen it up a little bit. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention, I did add some sugar to it. What sugar does is help cut the tomato taste. 
ground allspice. We're gonna throw a little bit of that in there. Decent amount. Let's go for now. All right, guys, we're gonna get this mixed in good. We're just gonna start looking a little different here pretty soon. Make sure you guys can see. So we got all that seasoning in there. What you have to do is let it simmer for a couple minutes, just so everything can come together, can combine correctly. Uh, if you just taste it right now, it's not gonna taste how it'll taste in a few minutes. So we'll let this simmer, we'll taste it. Once it's seasoned to how we want it to taste, or just a little bit above, then we will add a little bit of water to loosen it up, throw our catfish in there, and I will check back with you guys in just a little bit. All right, guys, it's been a few minutes. Give this a stir. Give it a chance to come together. You see how it's doing that again? Remember, if you, if you guys refer back to, uh, which video was it? One of my videos, I, don't, I know I don't have many, but I showed you guys how you can kinda, if you got the, the streak test, right? So whenever you push it and you can see the bottom of that pan like that, that's how you know everything is coming together nicely. So we'll give this a test. It's kinda hot now, temperature-wise and spice level. I can smell the heat, let's see. <coughs> oh, uh-oh. Yeah, we good there. It's got some heat. It hits you on the back end, but it's got flavor. It's got a you got depth of flavor. You got the tomato in there, the onion, the garlic. So what we'll do is add some water. Let me put this to the side. Add some water to kind of thin out this paste a little bit. And we'll just add a little bit at a time. So that was probably roughly half a cup ish or so. And then what we'll have to do is stir and then let it come together again. Okay. So I will stir this and then I will let it simmer for another couple minutes. Then we'll taste it again. Make sure that it's still seasoned properly. Then we'll put the catfish in. Talk to you guys in a little bit. All right, everybody, let's check this thing out. Got some steam coming through. Spoon, my tasting spoon. All right, everybody, a little teaching point here. So I know how I showed you the streak test. So you see, it's not really doing it, but if you go a little bit faster, you can you can see it, right? The reason that is is because we have oil in there, and we also added water. Water and oil don't mix, so it's gonna naturally cover much faster because the oil and the water are getting out of each other's way. So you can kind of see some of you can kind of see it separating a little bit like you see in here where it doesn't necessarily look all that combined that's because the water and oil isn't mixing but nonetheless the sauce has come to the consistency that we want it and we will give it a taste it's good stuff guys so it is still seasoned really well. Like I said, we over season it just a little bit because once we add the water, obviously it'll dilute it some. Uh, it kind of simmered down the heat level just a little bit. Simmered down uh, or loosened up the sauce. We'll put it over some, some rice. Probably fry some plantains or plantain, <laughs> however you pronounce it. But all right guys, I'm gonna season up the fish just a little bit because I don't put unseasoned meat in my pot. And then we will put it in here, let it cook together. Uh, and then take it off and plate it. See you guys in a second. All right, everybody, I'm gonna be fast because I got this thing balancing on my cabinet right now. <laughs> All right, everybody. So, like I said, a very lightly seasoned catfish because it doesn't really need any. This sauce is plenty seasoned enough. So we'll just drop it in there. I got these catfish steaks. If you wanna use fillets, go right ahead. Fillets, nuggets, anything like that. Uh, let's see if we can get we can fit all of it in there. It's going to be tight, but we can get it in there. Uh, one more baby one. Come on now. There we go. All right, guys. So I'm going to put this back on the stove. Put the top on. Uh, let it, we'll probably cook it on medium. 
Uh, catfish doesn't take long. Let this cook down, flip it over, make sure the sauce gets evenly coated on both sides, then it'll be ready to plate. See you guys in a little bit. You guys are gonna like this a lot. This is cooked completely. All right, so I just got it on low right now while I wait on everything else. Got some rice on the way, which you guys are really gonna like. I got that plants in there in the fryer, frying up right now. All right, guys, I'll be back whenever it's time to plate it. All right, everybody, let's check it out. You can see the sauce has come together. I got it over some rice. I got some fried plantain. Wasn't as ripe as I wanted it to be, but you know, it'll be all right. So we got a little bit of catfish, a little bit of sauce, a little bit of rice. Man, that's got some flavor. You can taste the tomato. The sugar to cut the tomato was good because I get the tomato, but not too much of it. It's not overpowering. The red pepper, the habanero pepper, brings out another element of heat. The fish is cooked perfectly. I got it nice and tender. Let's check out some of the plantain. Plantain is good, nice and sweet. All around. A plus. Hey everybody, thanks for checking it out. It's your boy CT One Time, Chef CT One Time. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, give me some feedback, etc. If you have anything that you'd like to see me make, make sure you comment below. Uh, besides that, I'll see you guys next time.